Hi, we are in Rotterdam, the Netherlands, for NEDS 2024. We are now on the Damen booth to take a deep dive into the CSS program, the combat support ship for the Royal Netherlands Navy. I am with René Hohenbaum, who was responsible for designing this CSS vessel. René, good morning. Thanks for welcoming us. Good morning. Uh, thank you, Xavier. Uh, nice to be here. Yeah. I believe you just achieved a very important milestone with this program. Uh, the vessel is now sailing and on its way to the Netherlands. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us more? Yeah, that's correct, uh, Xavier. So the, uh, the vessel is right now in the EGNC and uh, performing uh, the, the, the platform trials. And um, afterwards, it's going to, uh, to Vlissingen to, uh, to get it finalized at, at our yard. And, uh, so that's the milestone. How long will the final outfitting take and uh, when will you deliver the vessel? Um, so we will be, de be delivering uh, the vessel to, uh, to commit next year, so uh, 2025. After that, of course, the, uh, the client will also need uh, their time to, uh, to get it operational um, and, uh, with the testing and uh, the crew, etc. Okay. So the, this is a tanker and supply vessel, multi-role. Uh, what will be its main mission sets? Yeah, its main mission sets uh, are to uh, to do the uh, supply of uh, and the sustainment uh, capability uh, for the maritime task force uh, at sea, and also to uh, to provide uh, all the elements uh, in support of an amphibious task force. It's about uh, 23,000 tons, 180 meters, and uh, 26 in uh, in beam and uh, it's uh, capable of carrying uh, two helicopters or one helicopter and, uh, and uh, UAVs. Uh, it's also got a, li a limited uh, logistic uh, uh, and uh, task force uh, planning uh, facilities. So it's uh, really uh, a multi-role uh, role ship being able to also coordinate a small, uh, small group of vessels uh, as a base ship. Uh, you know approximately how much uh, dry stores it can deliver and uh, how much uh, fuel and water can it uh, yeah, supply? So, uh, it's about uh, 8,000 tons uh, of fuel, about 1,000 tons of, uh, of uh, helicopter fuel, um, 500 tons of solids amongst which uh, ammunition. So that's a very uh, capable ship in that sense and um, uh, it's also uh, a vessel that has specifically been designed for the higher end uh, naval operations uh, being um, also, uh, let's say, designed for the, uh, the navalized uh, specifications. That means it's suitable uh, to withstand shock and to have a low uh, noise signature um, and have uh, some internal protection measures also to protect the crew and, uh, and, uh, and all the goods. So it's a very, uh, very relevant ship in that sense. Uh, is there uh, space for uh, future upgrades in terms of uh, self-protection systems? Yes, yes. So the vessel as it is displayed right now is uh, without uh, sensors and weapons. In fact, uh, there's already contracts in place uh, to fit the, uh, the sensors and weapons uh, uh, on upon, upon arrival in uh, Vlissingen. So that has already been done, uh, the, that was the provisions for. But also the, um, the automation system is, uh, is very high-end, uh, stepping up up to frigate uh, capabilities to, uh, and also including the, uh, the upgrade possibilities for future, uh, for future platform management. Uh, uh, upgrades, so that is a, a leap forward for uh, for this certainly for this type of vessel, I would say. All right, Rene, thank you very much. No, you're welcome. Thank you.